plan plotting. In this video I'm going to show you how you can export your design plan that's in 12D and create a, a .dwg file so you can load it in a CAD program and do your uh, plan presentation. So what I've got on the screen here I've just got three models strings for road CO1, CO2 and I've got a curb return design model with all my curb return strings and notice the coordinate system here as well so this method will will keep the project in the same coordinate system in CAD so you can overlay your drainage and your survey and they'll all line up nicely you don't have to move them around so how we do that we come under the file data output and go we want to create a DWG file so let's get that panel open here so that's the panel that opens so first of all we need to select what we want to export in this case I've got three models on this view so I'm just going to export my design view here so I click on the picture frame here view and select design I need to give it a file name and I'm going to just type plot design here and the dimension I'm going to change to 2D and that's all we need and let's just go to right so now if I go to my working directory I've just created a, 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 a CAD file then let's just open that and see what what we get yeah so we essentially we, we got we get exactly the same strings and the same colors and um, and that's what it looks like in the CAD package which is fine if that's what you want but let's just check the layers yeah so what it's done it, it's kept the three model names in 12d and it's transferred that up so each model is a separate layer in in your CAD package and again that that might be what you want and that's fine but a lot of people want to have the different elements of your design onto different layers um, so that the, the CAD you can match your CAD standards and change the different colors to match your office standard and I'll show you how to do that so let's just close that drawing go back into 12d how we can do that we can do that by using this map file option here so it's grayed out because it's optional you don't have to have it but we're going to use that so we can move those strings into certain layers so I'm going to give this a, a, a map file name plot design to keep it consistent with my uh, file name there and if I click on the envelope I've got some other ones there that I did for the long sections and cross sections plotting. This one doesn't exist, so I'm just going to come down to open. So that's going to open a, an empty uh, map file for me that I need to populate. So how this works is it's all based on the string name. So the, the, the name of the string, each string in here, for example, that yellow string there is the KLL string, which is a curb lip on the left hand side string and then on the right hand side we've got the KLR so all these strings have unique names and that's all been driven by the template so when I'll just show you my template so I go under design templates template project template and I open up the left hand side so that's a list of my all my strings in my road template and they're all the link names which match obviously the names that have been created so what we want to do we want to populate this 12d name and then we need to associate a corresponding ACAD layer name that we want to port that over to so what we do is we the quickest way to do that we can click in here and do a right mouse and we can populate by the names and in this case we just want everything on this design view so we can pick on the design view there and just go populate and that will populate this list 
and they're all the string names that I have on the view. Let's just maximize this to get to the bottom of it. Yep, down to here. So all we have to do, we're gonna tell tell this map file, if you find this string name here, um, bring it over to a, a CAD layer name. So I'm just gonna type some, some new layer names in here. This one's gonna be design curb lip. And I'm just gonna copy that design curb. And this one's design curb. This is the invert because it's the, the, the KI string. That's the KT string, which is design curb top. And this one's design curb back. And this is the foot footpath string. I think it's the, the front of the footpath and the back of the footpath. So we'll just put it on a sorry we don't need curb in there. Design footpath. Design footpath. This is the verge. Just at the top of the batter there. So we're just going to call that design verge. And this one's the interface, the final cut and fill string there. This one here is the design centerline. I don't know that from the name, the CO1. And that's the design centerline as well for road CO2. And these are design, these are the curb return centerline for the curb returns. So I'm just going to copy that down to those four down here. So that's on the left hand side. This is line marking. There's, there's a line marking string as well in there which we put our parking bay in. So I'm just going to type in mark, line marking for that one there. And this is the, the design. That's the crown of the road um, on that side there on the left design crown. There we go. So that's on the left hand side. Now we could these same names are repeated, but you can see here this has got an R postfix on it, which is the right hand side, and this is all the L's for the left hand side. So I don't want different layers for the right and the left. So what I could do, I could copy all of those here and come down here and paste those in there. So that's the the lip, the invert, the top, the back, the footpath and the verge and the interface. Yep, footpath and there's some more verge strings down here. Then they're off the curb returns. And that one was the crown. So that's one way could we could do it and that, that would work perfectly but what we could do instead of having duplicate um, sort of map file lines for, for the left and the right, what we can do in here, instead of saying that the KL, which is the curb lip on the left, I want the left and the right. So I can take out the L and I can put a question mark in there. So that the program will say, okay, I'm gonna pick up all the KL strings, but that third character um, can, be, can be anything. So it'll pick up the left and the right. So essentially, if I put that in there, I can delete that line in there. So I'm going to delete that line in there. And the same for the others. Delete the left and put a question mark. And I want a question mark in there to pick up the right hand side. And that one can be a question mark. And that one as well. And that one. And the verge strings. And also the interface because we've got left and the right that line marking just the one off and we can also do the crown up here so we can put a question mark in there as well for the crown which means we can get rid of the crown the invert the top the back the footpath yep the two footpath strings the EX we can because we have it here and the interface string as well so I can essentially delete those lines. So you just have a smaller list to work with. 
by marking that's fine and the EV on the left and the EV on the right so we could just do pick up the EV question mark and that would pick up that one as well so I could delete that one yeah and that's I'm happy with that so I populated that and what I'm going to put in here I'm going to let the CAD program take care of the layer color and lifestyle in here and I'll show you how to do that so we're going to put that in there there's going to we're going to do a drawing template which will have all these values set up and that's all we need there so we just write that file and we've saved that away and we finish so then we come over to our panel here and we've, we've got that file name in there for plot design and let's plot that again just go right yes replace the existing file let's open that we can also open it from here as well if we click on here we can go to open and now you can see we've got the same lines um, they've changed color to white and why it's done that is because it's created some new layers that we had in the map file and now if we go into the layers instead of having the three layers that were there uh, the first time now it's broken up into the different layers for the for the center line for the center line the curb returns you know the crown of the road and all the curb strings as you can see there verge and line marking and that's worked perfectly so it's mapped the the string names into the different color uh, into the different layers so that's fine and then what you could do you then you could start to, to change the different colors that you need and you could do that manually I guess you could just go in here and say um, the, the lip of the curb I want it to be red and now that lip line is actually a red line but we don't want to do that because then we manually have to do that each time so what we can do we can create a drawing template a DWT file so the easiest way to do that is just delete all the all the lines in that drawing and bring up your layers and then change the colors in here so I'm going to do the these two ones I'm going to make red which are the center line uh, the crown of the road let's do yellow uh, the footpath let's do it a magenta color the interface let's do a green and then the back of the curb can be different colors as well invert we'll do that a blue color the lip can be red and the top let's make the top yellow line marking right and verge let's leave the verge as, as white so I've changed the colors and we could change the the line styles as well if we wanted to I'll just leave those all continuous and once we've done that we can just come up to file and save this as and we need to save it as a DWT file and a plan uh, plan design that's fine and that will sit in my working directory so I'll save that off so let's close that so back into 12d and that's where this template file comes in click on this and that's the one I've just created there for the plot design so I've got a template file in there now and I've got the map file that we created and the other thing to note as well a lot of people don't sort of miss this if you had text on this in this case we don't have any sort of center lines with text if you'd wanted to do a, a 1 to 500 plan in CAD you can actually change the scale in 500 there and that's going to um, plot the text and any symbols that you have in 12D which will go into a CAD block um, the right scale and the right size or even 250 scale depending on what, you, what you've got and let's just we're happy with that let's just go right and we want to replace now if we open up the drawing we've just created you can see it's all the nice colors that we had that we put into our drawing template so it's read the layers in and all the colors that were in the template and it's just just worked straight off yeah so that's how you can um, export to CAD your plan and, and nominate the different layers and colors that you're uh, that you're after 
So back into 12D now, I just want to show you one last thing be before I finish up. Um, so this panel here, we can actually save this panel. So next time you want to do a, an export when you did a, did a little bit more design or the design's changed and you want to do another plan export, we can save this panel so it saves you opening up a blank um, writer and then filling it all out again. So if you come up to the top left here and, and press on the cube, you can dump this panel out. And it, from, it brings up a little panel here. And the file extension for this panel is a .slx. It stands for a screen layout file. And the, the name it's given it is the same name as this panel here. So it's right DWG. And I'm just going to change that to plot plot design just to match match my name here. So I just dump that out and the little file text file is written and just finish that and then we finish this panel. So next time we want to come in and export the the plan again to CAD we can just come under file and how you recall that panel here. It's under here, it's under the, the layouts and layout input. And you can see I've got a couple others there for, for some long sections and cross sections but that's the one with the file we just wrote there. So if we open that and there's that panel again so it remembers where it actually sits on the screen as well and all the information that we had there is recorded and, and stored it just makes your life easier rather than keep filling out these panels again yeah look thanks for watching and i hope that was useful